Come on, Agnes, let's enjoy this beautiful twilight together. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Cyan Warrior Swords mod which adds in a whole host of brand new swords into your Minecraft world, all of which have powerful magical properties. So all of these are really unique in the way that they work, so let's take a closer look at them. So in here we've got different levels of swords, we've got basic swords which are kind of like the base of all of this mod and then you have level 1, 2 and mixed swords as well which are kind of like the upgrades of the basic swords. So first up let's go into some basic swords and there's a lot of them here already there's about eight or nine of them and the first one is the earth sword and you craft this by having two dirt and a blaze rod so it's kind of easy to craft apart from the blaze rod that kind of balances it out and this has five damage and two thousand durability so let's um grab this and we've got a little helper out here we've got agnes the spider so oh god i'm in peaceful there we go, Agnes the spider. How are you doing, Agnes? You okay? So what we're going to do with the earth sword is actually hit her. So we're going to hit this hit this bad boy and then see how much damage it does. It, it takes out a spider quite quickly. And the other thing it does is on a right click, it will spawn four different um, kind of like dirt pillars near you and it will also give you resistance for five minutes so that is pretty cool because if you've got like spiders coming at you they find it difficult to get through this little gap here and if you've just got loads of stuff coming after you it blocks them off just for a little bit so that is fairly useful and the um resistance is definitely useful too five minutes is pretty beast so let's drink this milk and we'll see what the next one will do so let's put the earth sword back and the next one we've got is the water sword and the water sword will take two glass on each side two water buckets in the middle and a stick to make the water sword now the water sword has five damage does five damage to your opponent and has just a thousand durability so it's a bit worse than the earth sword but let's see what ability it has so here comes agnes the spider and if agnes is attacking us she's getting all aggro in our face get away agnes will right click and in comes some water to slow her down so <laughs> that is pretty um random and strange and we also get water breathing which is awesome so we don't um kind of drown in our own um thing that we've just created but other things will be pretty annoyed at it and we i'm gonna have to clean this up right now ah, that's better so yeah water breathing and the really cool thing where you can just spout in um kind of pillars of water just to make your enemies flow away is really really useful so that's going to run out by itself in a second and we're going to have a look at the fire sword now so the fire sword will take two blaze powders and a blaze rod so fairly expensive but it has six damage so it will do quite a bit of damage it looks pretty sweet as well look at that this looks very very nice and then we've got a thousand durability on it as well so in comes agnes again how are you doing how are you doing i think you're getting pretty annoyed at getting killed all the time so when you hit something it will go on fire and if you right click you will spawn four bits of fire around you and also get fire resistance so if you walk into it that doesn't matter too much so that's pretty cool the um, basic swords kind of have a theme of spawning things around you in fours so the dirt one will spawn dirt near you and stuff like that so we've got the fire one that spawns fire near us really really handy in situations where the stuff is just coming to attack you really really useful so let's um let's drink this milk first actually oh my god it's beautiful oh yes the milk so let's move on to the next one which is the thunder sword so the thunder sword needs a block of redstone which is one of the new items in minecraft 1.5 and you need just nine redstone to create that and you also need a blade no you don't you need a yes you do you need a blaze rod as well so let's take this thunder sword and the thunder sword does six damage and a thousand durability as we saw before in comes agnes once again get, come on let's get angry agnes and then we've got a right click and it will spawn in oh my god that was pretty crazy i didn't expect it to do that much but it will spawn in four kind of lightning bolts around you and it will also give you speed so let's do that again agnes got absolutely pwned there absolutely pwned so my my point of view has gone a bit strange but bam oh my god she's on fire as well you got absolutely destroyed that is a beautiful beautiful weapon so now it's milk time <laughs> And that is awesome. You get speed for about a minute, so that makes you really, really fast, and you can run away from your opponents as you set them on fire. So that is that is a really powerful sword, actually. So up next is the wind sword, and this will take four feathers, two iron, two blaze rods, and a stick. So that's that's fairly expensive compared to the other ones. And this one needs it does five damage and a thousand durability. So same as the ones before. Let's spawn Agnes in here. And with the wind sword, you actually have something really cool. So you right click and you'll get a super jump. Oh my god, that is way higher than I thought it was. Holy balls, I hope I'm not going to die if you do that. What is going on? That is incredible. Wow, I did not even know that. So that is like a really, really kind of more like a utility than a weapon because it does decent damage. But if you right click, you will go insanely high. Look how high this is. I'm above, I'm above the clouds, man. 
and you also get what speed as well so you can run around at your heart's content jumping around insanely high so that is amazing i love this already it's really really sweet so let's go over i'm actually going to drink this milk again and we're going to move on to the next sword that is incredible i don't know if you take damage though so do be wary of that if you're trying to use it so up next is a light sword the light sword takes two gas tiers two golden nuggets and a blaze rod so very expensive this one and the stats of it are six damage a thousand durability and it will inflict weakness and blindness to the thing that you hit so i'm really sorry i'm really sorry all eight, eight of your eyes are going to be blind there you go it's affected and oh my god she's not really that slow and she can still see me she can still see me and i'm not sure if this one does anything on a right click no it doesn't oh maybe it does you do get night vision and invisibility holy damn i should be invisible oh yes look at this nobody can see me right now so what you can do is inflict blindness on your opponent and then right click to turn yourself invisible as well so they're never gonna find you ever ever again and now we're on to our two last basic swords. The first one is the Dark Sword. It requires two Obsidian, a Blaze Rod, and two Spider Eyes. So still ex we're getting more expensive as they go up. But this one has six damage, 1,000 durability, and will inflict Wither and Blindness on a hit. So let's do that to poor little Agnes here. She's getting so beaten up right now. And there we go. We've got Wither, and she will hopefully die as... Yeah, she's kind of stuck there as well. She's going to die. I'm sorry. That's, that's another, another time she has died. But yeah, another feature of this is pretty random, actually. You right-click and you'll get blindness, night vision, and invisibility. So I'm not sure why you'd want to use this. The invisibility is pretty cool, but the night vision and blindness don't don't really work together. So I'm just going to have to drink this milk to reverse the effects and move on to our last basic sword, which is the Ender Sword. So the Ender Sword is pretty self-explanatory. You are going to need to craft it. Four ender pearls, two iron ingots, two blaze rods, and a stick. So let's grab this. And the stats, it does five damage, thousand durability, and it shoots ender pearls. So these are for free as well, and you get a bit of regeneration because it doesn't hurt you. So these are free ender pearls, unlimited ender pearls, and that is pretty sweet. Really, really nice ability. So now we're going to move on to some of the more advanced swords, the level one and level two and the mixed swords as well. So level one, there is just one in here. We've got the peaceful nature sword and all of these use the swords from before in their recipes, which is why they're called level one and level two. So you need three different saplings. It can be any different one. You can see here it's changing and you can just use any different one you like. A sugar cane and the earth sword. And if we grab this, the peaceful nature sword has five damage, 2000 durability and will inflict um, confusion when it hit, when you hit something with it. So let's hit Agnes, and she should be straight up confused right now. But she's she's still pretty. She's going good here. She's going pretty well. And if you right click, you'll also get four little trees here. So the normal nature sword gave you kind of like four dirt block pillars, and then this one gives you resistance for five minutes and oak wood instead. So these are a bit more sturdier than before. And yeah, a really nice ability and a nice little upgrade to the dirt sword from earlier. So let's just drink the milk. <laughs> drinking so much milk today so let's move on to the next one the next one is the level two tier and we've got the meteor sword up first this has seven damage 1500 durability so it's getting better and we've got a fire charge four blaze powders a blaze rod and the fire sword from earlier and the special ability of this one is that you can fire gas balls i believe oh yes oh no no that was bad that was bad that was bad that was bad <laughs> that almost went incredibly wrong so you also get fire resistance because you kind of have the same ability as the fire sword from earlier and as you can see if you fire a gas ball out you will get the four kind of pillars of fire around you and you fire a gas ball at the same time so that is fairly sweet you can actually destroy stuff with this and agnes agnes you're gonna have to come out and, and feel the pain again this time i'm really sorry but damn oh yes the power the power and she's fallen down the hole she's on fire i'm so sorry I'm so this is really unfair on her actually <laughs> really unfair but anyway she's like um in infinite quantities so let's put out this fire and move on to the next sword and the next sword is the ice sword and to create this you're going to need the water sword from earlier five snowballs and this one has five damage on your opponents a thousand durability and it will actually freeze on hits so let's try that out over here let's go and then we will attack agnes and she'll be frozen solid sorry I'm, oh my god she's supposed to be frozen solid i guess it doesn't last too long but as you saw at the beginning she did kind of freeze and this one's pretty awesome as well because if you right click you get you get an amazing effect you get this and you get your own little sn oh he died it's because we're in the oh no this is the worst biome to choose but anyway you get a snow golem to help you out and you get a pillar four pillars of ice which helps you out with um defending against your enemy so that's really cool i like that it spawns in like a little helper for you if you're really desperate so yeah an ice sword for you and our next one is the thundershock sword and this one requires eight redstone surrounding a thunder sword from earlier and this one has seven damage two thousand durability and apparently blasts away your opponents on a right click so let's do this in comes agnes and right click 
And yep, we've got. Oh god, this is terrible. This is terrible. There we go. Let's hit the. Let's hit the spider. Kill her. Put her out of misery. And we've got kind of like a more extended effect on our speed. And we've got a lot more lightning as well. And apparently, it's supposed to blast your enemies back, but it doesn't seem to be doing this right now. It just seems to be striking her with lightning. And yeah, she's dying. So <laughs> this isn't good. Let's see if it might be on a hit. Actually, no, it's not on a hit either. So yeah, that is the thunder sword. And our last of the level 2 swords is the Wild Nature Sword, which requires a Peaceful Nature Sword from level 1, 3 Cactuses, and a Sugar Cane as well. And this one has 5 damage, 2000 durability, so it's pretty durable, and all poison on a hit. So Agnes is in here again. This is so bad against Agnes, I'm really sorry, but you're poisoned now. You're poisoned. Oh yes, the poison won't work on Agnes. Congrats! Absolute congrats. Let's just kill her. And it will actually inflict poison on normal mobs, not the undead and stuff like that. But on a right click, you will get some cactuses around you as well as some resistance so you don't get hit too much by the cactuses. But this is really cool as you can just employ these cactuses to shield you from all kind of mobs as they will take the hits from them. So that is really cool. And on to the mixed swords, the most powerful swords of all. Right then, on to the most powerful swords in this mod, the mixed swords. And this one uses kind of a mix of the previous levels to create. And this one is the the Thunderstorm Sword, which creates two iron ingots, one stick, and a Thunder Sword and a Wind Sword will create this. And this one has six damage, 2,000 durability, and apparently impulses with a Thunder Shock if you right click. So um, let's do that first. Oh, oh, wow, what the hell happened there? We've got regeneration, jump boost, and speed, and it kind of infused us to go all the way forward. This is amazing. I really like that. That is amazing. <laughs> so if we're just running forward, right click, and we'll zoom really, really far in front. That is really cool. I like that. So you can really get away from your enemies quick. It does spawn in lightning like in the sky, but it's not too much of an issue, and we'll see how quickly Agnes dies. And it takes about three hits to kill a spider. So not bad. Some really cool abilities. And on to the next sword. Which happens to be the Meteoric Thunderstorm Sword. So this one sounds absolutely incredible. You need the Meteor Sword, the Thunderstorm Sword, two Iron Ingots, and a Stick. This one has nine damage when you hit stuff with it. So really powerful. 2,000 durability. And let's see what it does as well. So first off, let's see what it does to Ag poor Agnes over here. So it will set her on fire. And it's a two-shot as well. So really cool. And the right click will give you like the power boost as well as leaving fire behind so that is really useful it kind of like combines all of it it leaves a bit more fire than the one before so that's really useful and will also give you fire resistance jump boost and speed so these kind of like mix all of them together in different combinations which is really sweet and the next sword in our list is the Ender Fire Sword. And this one needs the Ender Sword, the Fire Sword, two Iron Ingots and a Stick. And has pretty much the same stats as the normal Ender Sword. And I'm not sure what this one particularly does. I think it kind of has the Ender Pearl effects. And it should have the ability to set mobs on fire as well. There we go. So we can set mobs on fire and run away with a right click for free. Which is sweet. So you get fire resistance and you get the blocking as well. And you can kind of zoom towards enemies and take them out too. So if I went from here over to Agnes here and hit the crap out of her, there we go. It's a stealth weapon and one of my favorites actually, I really like this one apart from the Thunderstorm Sword, really amazing. Coming to the end of this mod now and we've got the Ender Wind Sword. So this one has the same recipe as before but with a Wind Sword as well and it will kind of employ the same thing as the Wind Sword but with the ability to throw Ender Pearls too. And you also get a Jump Boost which is awesome. So I'm not sure what kind of the Wind aspect this will get. I'm not too sure because you already get the Jump Boost. Maybe you get a bigger Jump Boost and more speed. That kind of looks like it but you get the Ender Pearl functionality as well which is really cool. So let's try and get over here. Oh would you look at that. That was beautiful. And the next one is the Ender Thunderstorm, which has the same kind of recipe as before, but with Thunder Sword as well. And I believe this will just like employ lightning and it will fire the Ender Pearl as well. So the Ender Pearl, did you see the Ender Pearl actually goes on fire? That is really interesting. So it will set fire to stuff and give you speed. It won't give you a jump boost this time. So I guess that was what the difference between the wind. You will get the speed, but you won't get the jump boost with the rest of the Ender Swords. And yeah, that is just a, a quick getaway while you zap stuff with lightning. And the final sword in this mod is the Time Sword. And this one requires the Dark Sword, the Light Sword, two Iron Ingots, and a stick. So not too bad to craft. And here we go. This is the Time Sword. It has 7 damage, 2,000 durability. And if you right click, it will change the time. So as you can see, we changed to kind of like a twilight. Really pretty twilight. And if you right click again, it will change to day. So that's really useful for spawning in mobs. If you're spawning mobs in the day. And it also gives you night vision and invisibility. Which is why the night looks so awesome earlier. So this is actually pitch black. So if we drink the milk, it should be really dark there we go it's really dark but if we use the right click again we also get invisibility so you can just spawn in mobs attack them and then change it to day to get the fire damage on them as well really cool for mob hunting and yeah really awesome so i'm invisible guys i'm invisible you can't see me 
So yeah, that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. It has a really nice collection of swords. They're not too overpowered. They're really, really kind of balanced in their recipes and their powers. And yeah, if you like what you see and want to play it for yourself, then please go to the description below to check it out. Also, if you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And for all of you, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too. So for me and Agnes, we have been from the Diamond Minecart, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!